Hey YouTube, this is your man Sonny Wayne Feller, and I'm so glad that you could join me today. Um, I'm excited, and I bet you are excited as well. But there are some, you know, myth that is um, being said out there about like um, Africans hitting um, Black Americans, or as we all call it, African Americans. Uh, most time when I hear these stories or I hear people talking about it, it bothers me. For one fact that Africans are loving people. We are kind. We are merciful. We are very progressive. We want to see things get done. And when we come to the shows of this country, the USA, and we hear people saying how much those of us from across the Atlantic or from the other part of the world um, come to this country and we don't like those that we look like or those that look like us, it is, I believe, a myth. It is a misinformation, misunderstanding because I can tell you the truth that we love ourselves. And if you have the complexion like us, Blacks, we appreciate you very, very much. We care about you. We love you. If we don't like the color that we have, then I just don't seem to understand who we are. Because um, I know there is a YouTube um, channel that says Go Black to Africa. And this young man, is in, um, he's encouraging African Americans or Black Americans to return to the mother's land. We should all understand that Africa is where we all came from. Whether it was 1822 on May, the, the ship Mayflower or whatever, um, we came to this country. We came here by some means. Um, some came by air, some came by boat. But we all came to the shores of the USA where we believe there are a lot of opportunities for all of us to enjoy. Some of us came here with the mindset to at least achieve the education that some of us have today and to return home to help develop our mother's land, to develop our countries. Um, be it which country you are from in Africa, I believe most of us came here for a purpose because we have a purpose-driven life. Um, we did not come here to hit people. You know, so when I hear that um, Africans don't like black Americans or African Americans, it bothers me as I stated. But you know, there are inst there were instances in my life. Um, I remember I worked at a place in Minnesota, and a uh, African American um, came and asked me if in Africa we lived in trees, and that was a little bit um, astonishing to say the least. Um, and he also asked if we had a um, razor blade to uh, shave because they were told that um, there are no blades in Africa and also that if I had till in my pants. And I did not get angry. I just asked him a simple question. Um, do you see that um, when Bill Clinton, your president, uh, went to Liberia, he lived in the largest tree we had in in Africa, right? And he got a little bit offensive and he walked away. But brothers and sisters, this is something that we need to step back and re-examine our thought process. Um, most of the time we look on television and we see the worst part of Africa. We see the slums and, and places that people are living. And these places are all over the world. If you come here to America, there are places in America that are slums. You come here to America, there are places here that people lay in dilapidated homes, broken down homes. They are homeless people and they are everywhere in the world. It is not only Africa. Africa is a continent and we are very proud to be Africans. So if you are a black American or African American as we call it, I want you to step back and re-examine, begin to re-history, begin to understand where you are from and begin to understand that when you see a brother who looks like you, the same complexion, I'm not saying that we should turn against the Caucasians, absolutely not. They are wonderful people. You know, sometimes we hear, oh, the 
Africans tend to uh, and take to the Caucasians more than the the blacks, um, black Americans or the African Americans. That is not true. The way we are received, that's how we tend to give ourselves. If you insult us and say things to us like, um, I, I, I was reading something just the other day about a young lady who came from Ghana and she got on this train in New York. And while she was um, trying to walk down the train to get and uh, find a seat, there were a group of African American boys who began to tell us she had accent. Um, what kind of accent are you? Are you because she asked someone to excuse, to give her um, to excuse her so she would pass? And they got together and began to make mockery of her. And they said, "What kind of accent do you have?" Look, I want us to understand something here. Not only Africans have accents. Even Americans have their accent. Because if you went to Africa and you spoke, you are completely, your language or the way you speak is completely different from how we speak. So in essence, you have an accent. Okay? So I, I hear that a whole lot. Oh, what, what accent do you speak? Um, what kind of, where are you from? Are you from the, the island or whatever? Yeah, what's, what's up with that? Even if I'm from the island, what's wrong with it? If I'm from Africa, what's wrong with it? That's how I speak. And there's nothing I can do about it. And the way you speak, nothing you can do about it. But I want us to understand that no accent is the, the, the leading accent in the world. Regardless of you, of a country being the world power or um, whatever country you're from, there is nowhere I've read or I've heard that an accent that a person have is the best accent in the world. That is not true. And just to go back to what this lady uh, mentioned, she said why she was there. She was wondering, thinking that maybe they were just trying to, to, to play, you know, play around. But automatically they begin to tell us, so in Africa, um, do you have tails? They say people in Africa have tails. So now we are animals. Yeah, every human being is a high class animal. I understand. But why would you tell somebody that they have tails? Is that an appropriate thing to say? And there were so many, many other things that were said, and I don't want to repeat them here on this, uh, on my channel. But I just want to let the African Americans know that we from Africa don't hit them. If you receive us, we will receive you. If you push us away, we will go away. That's the bottom line. You know, if you think otherwise about us, you know, here in the States, just in Buffalo, you know, 10 blacks got killed. I don't think they were choosing and picking and say, you know, this one is from Africa and this one is African American. Every one of us are a target in some way or the other, but some people who just don't like blacks. So our complexion should not deter any of us from loving one another or where we're from. What are Caucasians? What are African Americans? What are Africans? We need to love one another because if we don't do it, we're going to have chaos and division. And most time I want us to understand that there are some people who try to divide and conquer. So if you're not mindful, you will fall in that category. And that is not the best thing to do. Okay? You know, I, I, there's no way that a person, you know, that looks like me, I will have something against that person. Unless that person show that they have something against me. And what will you say if someone you know, is black and I'm black and you begin to use words or begin to undermine me, what do, you, what do I do? Do I stay there and let it happen because I'm black? No, we are all humans. We have feelings. So we're going to walk away and maybe we might put you at an arm length. We do it in our families. We do it with our relatives. We do it with friends and we can do it with four. So it doesn't mean that we from Africa hit African Americans or Black American as we all. Then some of them say it. We are from the same shores of Africa. I want us to understand that we are from Africa. We are Black. All right. And I want you to understand and enjoy it. You know, be proud of who you are and love your fellow man. Love the one who looks like you. We say Black life matters. Okay, every life matter actually, but when we use the word black life matter, they're not saying American or African Americans or black American life matters. They are saying all black life matters. 
because there are Africans who have been shot here in this country, who have been killed. So to my subscribers, I just wanted to throw this out there and, and I hope you watch this video to the end, okay? Um, I like you, I appreciate you, and I just hope you will continue to, to ride with me as I continue this journey. You know, um, I know we have been building this little cottage and maybe people were expecting me to say something about it today, but not today, maybe in the next video. But this was something that I've been heavy on my heart and I wanted to just say it, that us Africans do not, and I must emphasize, we do not hate black Americans nor Africans, Amer African Americans, okay? If you were born here, praise the Lord. If you were born in Africa, praise the Lord. We love you, all right? So those of you who just came by my video mistakenly, thank you for watching and please subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification bell. Sonny Wayne fella like you, okay? I love you, to be frank with you. So you have a blessed day and bye for now. Thank you.